right, so we have this following circuit to solve for. We, let, we have to find VO here. So let's start by writing two nodes. Let's call this V1 and let's call this V2. Also, and let's write a few current directions. Let's call this I1, I2, I3, and I4. Okay, and this is the ground node, so it's zero volts here. So let's write the equation for node V1. Uh, everything is leaving it, so it'll be I1 plus I2 equals 5 amps. Then for node V2, uh, let's see, 5 amps plus I2, they're entering it. And then we have I4 plus I3, they're leaving it. Okay, now let's put our attention to the voltage sources. So this region, it's going to be 40 uh, volts, okay? Because uh, the positive is pointing it in there and since this region is zero this region is going to be 40 volts then we have this region it's going to be minus 20 volts because the negative is pointing in that direction and it's zero over here okay so now let's find our i values i1 will be equal to v1 minus 40 all over one so high potential to low potential all over one. If this voltage source wasn't here, then it'll be V1 minus zero. Then we have I2, high potential V1 minus low potential V2, so V1 minus V2, all over two. Then we have I3, hold on, okay, I3. It goes from high potential V2 to low potential, which is zero, all over four. Then we have I4 goes from a high potential V2 minus a low potential minus 20 all over 8. All right, so that's all the equations we're going to need. And then minus, minus 20, that's just positive 20. So this one, it's I1, which is V1 minus 40 plus I2. V1 minus V2 all over 2 equals 5. And this one is 5 plus I2. V1 minus V2 all over 2 equals I4 V2 plus 20 all over 8 plus I3, which is V2 over 4. All right, now let's simplify these more and you know start plugging them into each other. So let's click like terms V1 plus V1 over 2. That's so V1 over 2, that's 0 0.5 V1, so it'll be 1.5 V1. Then we have uh, minus V2 over 2, that's just minus 0 0.5 V2. And let's bring the 40 to the other side. So it'll be, uh, so minus 40 turns into positive 40, plus 5, that's 45. Now we have this one, let's collect like terms. So we have V1 over 2. Uh, let, actually, let's bring this whole thing to the other side. So it'll be 5 equals minus v1 plus v2 all over 2 plus v2 plus 20 all over 8 plus v2 over 4 okay and then let's click like terms so minus v1 over 2 that's just minus 0 0.5 v1 then we have a uh, positive v2 over 2 so that's 0 0.5 v2 plus v2 over 8 so plus uh, 0 0.125 plus v2 over 4 so plus 0 0.25 and you get 0 0.875 uh, v2 all right now we have 20 over 8 which is 2.5 let's bring it to the other side so it becomes minus 2.5, so it'll be 5 minus 2.5. And that's 2.5. Now let's isolate for one of them, and so we can get our answer. So let's work with this one. Okay. So let's isolate for V1. So 1.5 V1. And let's bring... Uh, the 0 point, minus 0 0.5 V2 to the, to the other side, so it'll be 45 
was 0 0.5 V2. Divide both sides by 1.5. And this turns into 45 divided by 1.5. Uh, that's 3. And 0 0.5 divided by 1.5. That's 1 over 3. Okay, now let's plug it into our second equation here. So minus 0 0.5. 3 plus 1 over 3 v2 plus 8 0.875 v2 equals 2.5. Alright, let's follow the 0 0.5 in. So, for 3 it's minus 1.5 plus uh, uh, minus 0 0.166667 v2 plus 0 0.875 v2 equals 2.5. Collect like terms. So that's 0 0.7083 v2. Let's bring this minus 1.5 to the other side. So it's 2.5 plus 1.5. That's 4. Divide both sides by uh, 0 0.7083 and you get 5.65 volts and this is actually our, our VO value because notice here let's pay attention here V2 as it goes down the circuit it turns into zero volts because it experiences a, a, a voltage drop so this voltage drop has to be equivalent to V2 for it to equal zero at the end so VO is equal to V2, and that's equal to 5.65 volts.